What's up, fellow collectors? Welcome back. Today might be Master Toy Museum. I'll be a curator today. Guys, more fun, more excitement from the museum today. Another cool Mego Wave 8 action figure. Or is it Wave 9? It's hard to tell these days, guys. But one thing we do know, it's a brand new one. And it's one of the coolest ones that I've seen thus far. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to put this one at the very top of the cool chart. This is Saru from Star Trek Discovery. Saru is a... Uh, a, a Kelpian, alien, I believe. Uh, the species that he is uh, lives in a perpetual state of fear. Um, they have the ability to to sense uh, threats, danger, which I guess is a is, is a cool thing if you're going to live in fear. <laughs> but nevertheless, Saru is a fantastic character. Um, I I watch Star Trek Discovery sometimes. I'm not a I'm not a huge fan, but when I saw that Migo was talking about releasing this figure, producing this figure, I immediately knew I had to have this figure. You just know, guys, some figures that you see as uh, characters you see in these TV shows, you just know they would make great eight inch action figures or 12 inch action figures. Saru is one of those figures. And this is one of Migo's best figures to date. This is uh, that I can remember. This is one of the best ones. You find another figure that's better than this Saru figure You'll be hard pressed to find it. Uh, the outfit is fantastic. Now, here's something cool about Saru. The boots, and just like in the movie, the, the TV show, they're they're designed in a way where no heel, hoof like. He has hoof like feet. And the boots are built like that. How cool is that? A lot of work, a lot of attention to uh, detail went into this figure. Look at the piping along the side, the gold piping on the outfit. Fantastic. The head sculpt is absolutely, positively fantastic. It's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is without question the work of Andy Kovalt. This absolutely has to be the work of Andy Kovalt. We're going to find out in a minute for you guys. Guys, I found this uh, beautiful action figure at Walmart on a trip to Walmart just to check out uh, the toy section do a little shopping and I found this figure this is the only one they had this is the only Mego figure they had this is the only one I really needed at this point because like I said this is one that like I said was on my radar I can't say enough about this outfit it's absolutely fantastic Saru is is definitely at the top of my list of awesome Mego figures now the question is uh, will they continue producing the, the Star Trek Discovery 
we know they they're doing uh, the next generation figures. Uh, I would like them to finish up the original Star Trek series figures, but if they have to keep pushing um, these figures, these character, new characters out, they did a fantastic job with this one. Uh, Saru is just by just by leaps and bounds better than any figure, Star Trek figure that they've put out thus far, without question. The outfit, everything is is just beautifully done. Guys, your thoughts, your opinions on the Star Trek Discovery Mego Saru 8-inch action figure. Let's turn it around on the back. Card, everything is beautiful. I, I'm, I'm so happy that this card was in fantastic condition. I've been left with a, a monumental decision to make. To leave a figure that I've been looking for because the cart was damaged and just wait or go check another Walmart out. So I'm just glad I didn't have to make any of those decisions tonight, guys. Uh, Saru's uh, cart was in fantastic condition. Here's the great shot of Saru. The actor that plays Saru, name is Doug Jones. And he's he's a tall uh, individual as well. He's six four. So and you put those hoof like boots on him. He's he's probably somewhere around six seven. <laughs> Trying to get you everything here. Official edition action figure. With original detail and quality. And there's Marty Abrams. Sculptors yet, Andy Colvault. I know Andy's work. Like I said, it's it's just fantastic quality work. Uh, that's got Andy Colvault, Colvault written all over it. Seamstress. Now here's something different, guys. The seamstress is Nicole Wilson. Uh, Nicole Wilson makes a comeback here, guys. I thought this is the work of Rachel Baker. Uh, this is the work of Nicole Wilson, who did a lot of the earlier waves uh, clothing. And she did a fantastic, Nicole Wilson did a fantastic job on Saru's outfit. This is a fantastic combination then with Nicole Wilson's seamstress work and Andy Kovalt's practically genius work on this head sculpt for Saru. This is just a fan. Guys, I have never been this excited about an action figure. This action figure is absolutely fantastic. I would definitely tell you to add this beautiful figure to your, uh, to your Star Trek collection, to your toy collection. Definitely worth it, guys. Collectors love the close-ups. I mean, Andy just, he he really nailed the, the, the head. The likeness, everything. And the outfit ties it all together. Some sculpt here, sculpting here on the hands. There's the logo here. I like the fact that it's it's more silk screen now into the material. The Starfleet badge there. Look at the, just so much detail in this figure's outfit.
Saru, ladies and gentlemen, Star Trek Discovery. If you find this guy, definitely purchase this figure. This is a fantastic action figure. Migo, this is what we've been talking about. This is what we've been waiting on. Stuff like this. This is the stuff I would have liked to see three, four, five waves ago. You know, this is, like I said, this is, this is quality. This figure was uh, $14.99. And for $14.99, this is a definite, definite yes for anybody's collection. So it's going to, it's going to definitely beat out anything in that price range look what you're getting now saru does not come with any weapons of any sort but when you have a figure that this that is th this beautifully made you really can overlook the fact that he doesn't have a weapon and if he does have one it's underneath this outfit and i don't i don't see it Guys, we'd like to thank you for hanging out with us tonight here at the museum. You know the routine, guys. God bless. Stay safe. And keep collecting.